Hi and welcome to this week's project. Um, in this week's project I um, use these um, little bongs here for when I'm turning pens and I'm using CA on them on the lathe. And I actually bought a tube of HDPE and then shaped them from that. I, um, I get through several of them because um, they get coated in CA and then you end up putting grooves into them when you're shaping the the end of your pen and that. And I've also got these ones here which are for the rings. Now I actually got these in from America and um, it would be a bit too expensive to be honest to be trying to get them from America all the time. So um, I'm hoping that this project will help me with these for making these in the future. So, and how I'm going to do this is, um, it's not an idea which is unique to me. I've seen it several times on the internet and thought I would try it. And it's using the milk bottles, the HDPE milk bottles, which in the UK is our standard ones with the green top or blue top or red top, whatever ones you have. And what I've done, I've just been collecting these over the last few weeks and um, I've just been cutting them off and putting them into this tray. And I'm going to be putting them in the oven on quite a low temperature, 130 Celsius, between 120 and 130 Celsius, in order for it to soften this material. Um, but at that temperature, hopefully not giving off any fumes um, from what I understand it shouldn't do at this temperature. Um, so what I'm going to do, I've got far too much in here at the minute, I'm going to be emptying some of these out and just starting with a, a small amount and um, putting them in the oven for probably about 10 minutes at a time and taking them out and we'll have a look and see how it goes on that. So I'll get this uh, tray ready I shall do it on a time lapse probably and um, so that you can see how much I'm putting in and then we'll get ready to get the first lot in the oven okay so I took the majority out and I thought that this is just a small amount in here now we'll start with initially it might take quite a bit at first to get this melted down um, but what I'll do is um, at every 10 mil interval, interval I'll come back and we'll see where we are from there. Okay, so let's get this into the oven for this first 10 minutes. Okay, so I checked on the internet and I had the temperatures far too low. So I put it up to 170 in the oven and as we can see now we're getting on a lot better. going to add some more into this now in the bag put that in for another 10 minutes and we'll see how we get on there seem to be getting somewhere now seemingly the temperature is still quite safe because there's it's there's no fumes coming off it so I double checked on that before I did it. Okay, another 10 minutes. Take this out of here.
Okay, the idea that I'm getting with this is to get uh, a longer tube on it, so I think I'm just going to add the rest of what's there into, into this now. Pop it back in the oven for another 10 minutes and then we'll start getting it melted down to get it into shape. if we can get it down to the sizes we need now. fit. I'm not going to go any further with it. I think that'll do for what we need. That's the first one. Second one might be able to get a bit thinner. Perfect. Plenty big enough for what we need to do. So I'm going to leave these to cool now. And I think the thing to do will be to just slice the ends off on the bandsaw. I will be keeping those bits and we'll be able to redo them should I need more. And then I'm going to we'll cut and we'll shape a couple ready for the lathe. So that'll be the next bit. Let's go and do that. Okay, that's them 
complete. They've got a, a, a couple of holes there, but I'm not really worried about that. It's only for the CA. Um, obviously, I drilled the hole out the correct size for the mandrel, which is 7 mils, I think. And um, obviously, I, I would shape the blank down, and then um, this would these bongs would be used. I use them for doing the CA coating on it. So that's those ones, and this is the older ones that are a bit worn out and raggy looking. I mean, I do tend to put them on and clean them up and reuse them. They do last for ages. But yeah. We've all got a few milk bottles or plastic HDP stuff lying around and it's a, it's a good way of getting it for free. I didn't want to go and buy another tube. And yeah, it's only a pound or two pound for the tube, but I was quite happy just to melt it down and use what I've got. So anyway, hope you enjoyed that. If you did, give me that thumbs up. If you didn't, give me the thumbs down. Any questions, leave them in the comments area. And... Thanks very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed.